Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff. I'm Luke. And I'm Mandy. <laughs> Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Uh, so today we're going to do some one versus one battles. And it is going to be Prada Loam Intense versus... Givenchy Gentleman. Eau de Parfum. <laughs> so we're going to spray them. She's going to give us thoughts on them. And then she's going to let us know which one she prefers between the two of them. Great. Cool. Which one do you want to smell first? Givenchy. All right. Just because I like... How to just say that. <laughs> All righty. Let us know what you think. All right. Nice. Kind of sweet, I feel like. Yeah. I like it. It's rich and sweet at the same time. Okay. Good, sexy? It's good. Yeah, I like it a so lot, So would actually. you like to smell it on a guy? I would. I would. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, you ready for the next one? I am. I'm like trying to get this scent smell out of my. <laughs> Sorry, we got we have coffee. We can have you. Oh, that's what this is. I was gonna ask you why this is yes, there. Yes, cleanse the senses. Oh, that sounds good too. Okay. All right, so you can hand that to Luke, so he'll hold Thank it for you. you. Cool. And this is Prada Loam Intense. Prada Loam. Prada Loam Intense. Mmm. <clears throat> I definitely prefer Givenchy over this one, but um... Is it still good? Not as good? I think, I so strongly said I prefer this one because I don't really care for this one. Okay, that's completely yeah. fine too. Yeah. So um, your winner between the two is definitely gentlemen only. Yes. Cool. Cool. Now Mandy, let us know what you think of Prada Loam Intense and Givenchy Gentlemen. All right. On the dry downs. On the dry downs. So Loam Intense versus German only or de parfum. Did I smell these already? Yes. Thought so. Givenchy. Okay. Yep. So it won the opening and the dry down. Cool. Awesome. Nice. So the next two fragrances we're gonna have Jackie smell are Givenchy Gentleman versus uh, Loam Intense by Prada. Let's see what you think. So just let us know which one you like mm. better between the two. Okay. Givenchy Gentleman. Okay. Um, hold on, hold on. Words. Okay, this is obviously still candy-like, but I feel like it's like kind of sharp, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like cinnamon-y cinnamon as well. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna give it a six as well. A six? Okay. Yeah. All right. And then uh, Loam Intense. Let us know what you think of okay. Loam Intense. I like this one way better. It's <laughs> Sorry, okay. yeah. Um, this is gonna be like a seven, eight for me, I think. Cool, is it sexy? Yeah, it definitely smells not as candy-like to me. Great, cool, I don't know thank how to you. Explain it. Prada, Prada Loam Intense. intense. All right, Jackie, better or worse? Givenchy Gentleman versus? Loam Intense, Dry Down. Sorry. This one? Okay. Loam well, Intense still? Yes. Yeah. Cool. So opening and dry down was your winner. I think so. Yes. Cool. All right, Chelsea, we were about to battle Prada Loam Intense versus Givenchy Gentleman Only. Oh. Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum, yeah. <laughs> so let us know which one do you think is the best. Okay. So here's the Eau de Parfum by Gentleman Only. Not by gentlemen only, but <laughs> by Givenchy. Oh, okay. Um, heavier scent. Is it a black licorice vibe? Something like that. There's orris in it, which is kind of like an iris vibe, but you can get black licorice from it. I can, I can feel that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Is it sexy? Not my personal fave. I, I feel like this feels like an older gentleman vibe. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5. Seven. Okay. So it's still nice? <laughs> still nice, but not my personal favorite. Okay, great. And then Prada Loam Intense. Let us know what you think of Prada Loam Intense. Let's see if it's as intense as it says. Oh, okay. I definitely like this better. Um, 
softer, still a little sweet undertone. I like this one for sure better. I'm gonna give this one a, an 8.5. 8.5. Okay, cool. So winner. Yeah, definitely. Uh, winner on the opening. We'll find out what the dry down is. Yeah. And now, uh, Givenchy Gentleman only versus Low Intense by Prada. Ooh. Which one wins? Can roll off the tongue there. Prada. <laughs> roll the R's. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -mm. This one definitely wins for me. This is just as. As it's been drying, it's definitely more potent, and I don't love it as much as this one. This one definitely wins. Okay, cool. Prada Loam Intense winner. We're back. <laughs> Lauren's gonna smell just the dry downs of Prada Loam Intense versus Gentleman by Givenchy. <laughs> Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum. Okay, which one is that? So this is Prada Loam Intense dry down. Interesting. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like a car scent. To okay. To be honest. Um, Very clean. <laughs> clean, but like almost like foresty in a way. Like. Okay. It's got um, iris in it, so. It could okay. Be, could be what you're smelling. I could see this smelling good, like on a skin after, but mm -hmm. um, it's not my favorite, but I, I don't hate it. Okay. Okay. So All right. A little piney. So you think it would smell better on skin though? Yeah, but it smells a little like piney to me. Yeah. Okay. And then the Givenchy. Oh, um, this is a little lighter. Okay. Um, it still feels like it has a piney scent to it, but like a lighter piney scent, if that makes sense. Um, but if I were to choose, I think I like this one better just because it is a little bit lighter. All right. Okay. So you like the dry down of Gentleman Only Eau de Parfum yes. more than Loma Intense. Are they both good? They're both good. They're both good, but this one's better. Okay. <laughs> cool. Jade is going to let us know which one she prefers between Prada Loma Intense and Givenchy Gentleman Only Eau de Parfum. Which one do you want to smell first? Surprise me. Boom. Surprise. There you go. <laughs> Loam Intense. Okay. Do you want me to? Could Do you, you like it? it? You don't need a rate or anything, just. Yeah, I dig it. Good? I could rock with this. Cool. Thanks, you guys. And Givenchy, gentlemen, what a buffet. Oh, God, you guys are going to make this difficult on me because I think these are really different. Sexy, not sexy. They're both sexy. I like them both. I think seasonally they could be slightly different, which could help you decide, but if I had to choose one, which is the name of the video, um, I like this one a little bit more. It's a little sweeter, a little muskier. This is a little more fresh, a little more floral. So cool. I'm gonna pick Givenchy. this cool. guy. Cool, nice. And on the dry down jade, what do you think of Loam Intense versus Givenchy? Which one's better? This one's better. Cool, cool. are they both good? They're both good. Uh, this is warmer to me. Okay. This cool. is colder. Great. The next Netflix and chill fragrance that Ashley's gonna rate is Loam Intense. Let us know what you think of Loam Intense. Okay, so I would not not prefer this for a, a Netflix and chill or a Hulu and hang. Okay. It's a little bit um, on the more astringent side. It's kind of more aggressive. It's less cuddly and more, this is more of like a power scent, I would say, to wear out versus... So more like a night on a town for you. Yeah, this, okay. this is more night out or like at work versus um, cool and hanging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So as a night on the town scent, would you rate it higher? It's still not my favorite either way, but I think in that context, it would make more sense. If somebody wore this on a Netflix and chill date, I'd be like, whoa, buddy. Would you scoot over a little bit? I would definitely <laughs> scoot over uh, just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna, this is like a four. This okay, a four. not your favorite. Not my favorite. Cool. Prada Loam Intense, four out of 10. Uh, Prada Loam Intense. Worse. Worse, <laughs> you didn't like it at the beginning. Yeah, no, this one got worse. Guys, just know, this is not a cuddle scent. All right, you gave it a four before. What would you drop it to? Like a two. 
too. This is not. No, don't do it. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. 